Hello and welcome to another Bitcoin update. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. It's Saturday, obviously, and usually that is a, a quiet day. That is usually the time for a wave four. I think on the Bitcoin chart, we currently deal with the wave four. We talked about that in the previous video, and I told you that this could become very well a triangle, as these wave fours oftentimes do, especially if they are on a weekend. So we take a look at that in a minute. This is sort of my main account for Bitcoin. I mean, there's a few other accounts in the short term. To be honest, they don't make a great difference. The message is the same here, that my view is based on the edit wave count, based on the structure that Bitcoin is forming, that we haven't seen a low here yet. Okay, so the potential is there that a low was formed in June and that the low was in. I mean, we have constantly talked about that. Bitcoin has the potential because the longer time frame count suggests that yeah, the, the longer time frame count shows us for Bitcoin that Bitcoin has reached the minimum requirements where it actually has re reached an ideal area for Bitcoin to come down to. Yeah, since the all time high to where we are now, um, it's done what it needs to do. You know, the higher level pattern is basically full. It's fulfilled. But based on the micro elite wave count, another low would be nice to see. Yeah, just one leg down is missing, then I'd be happy. Um, how low that eventually will go, I can't tell you. There is significant support at around 17K. That is the 78.6% um, Fibonacci retracement level of the Bitcoin chart of the larger cycle. And um, here in the very short term, I think we've got a pattern as an ending diagonal, yeah, which we created since the high at 25.2K. We came down in a wave one, we moved up in a two, we came down in a three, we moved up in a four, and I think we're now on our way down in a wave five. Now in this wave five, in this wave five, um, we have an ABC pattern. That is just due to the fact, so it's a three wave structure. It's just due to the fact that we have an ending diagonal here, A, B, C. And as I told you yesterday, my view was that we get into this or the day before yesterday that we get into this green area and we reverse out of it. At least that was an ideal area for a wave B, an ideal resistance area. As you can see, we did that actually um, at the same time reacted to the 50 day moving average here and um, yeah, came down. And um, the weakness of the Bitcoin chart gets further expressed by the fact that it didn't make a new high. So we have here a lower high. The second high was a lower high broke the previous swing low, entered a short-term downtrend. That allows us to count the move up as a three-wave move, as a wave B, yeah, it's ideal, and the move down as a possible impulse. And we have our wave one, we've got our wave two, got our wave three, and this is, I think, a wave four, and now next would be coming down in a wave five. Now, the minimum requirements um, yeah, for this move are basically fulfilled, A, B, C. We can see that, yeah, I think this is how I would interpret this, um, as an ABC, this would be a running flat pattern because the wave B dropped below the beginning of the wave A and the wave C did not go above the wave A. You could call that a running flat. Pattern is full. It doesn't need to do anything else. It could now come down any moment. Um, however, equally likely, and I think even more likely actually, because a running flat is not too frequent, even more likely would be our favorite triangle pattern, A, B, C, D, E, where we were still waiting for a wave D and then a wave E, and then we would come down in a wave five. That's sort of my preferred scenario, basically. Um, yeah, that would be my preferred scenario because first of all, it's weekend, not much movement expected usually, right? Um, and it's a wave four, in my opinion. A wave four oftentimes becomes a triangle. Now, they are tricky patterns, yeah, they are tricky patterns, but if this is going to become a triangle, then I'd be opting here for, a, uh, let's say, a contracting triangle, yeah, which might do something like that. Um, and so I've got the yellow, either the yellow count where we peaked already in the wave four here at did, 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 basically 19,200, or we do another wave D down and the wave E up. Now, condition is that the wave D does not go beyond the low of the wave B. Otherwise, confirmation would be for the ABC pattern here. But if we make a higher low and then move up, 
and go lower than wave C because we cannot, also in the wave E, we must not go above the wave C, then this would be a triangle pattern. And we can cal calculate also, I mean, this is probably not much use here on the sort of, you know, it's not a very, you know, it's not a lot of volatility here, but we can calculate, at least to get a bit of an orientation, we can calculate a target for the wave D. And we would do that by using the length of wave B and projecting that out. And the key target here for the wave D would be, and to be honest, we nearly reached that anyway already here. Yeah. Um, key target, I mean, yeah, if you, let's go to the 15 minute chart. I mean, if we go to the 15 minute chart, you can see that uh, an ideal target here for the wave D is the uh, 19,086 level. That's the 61.8% extension. And we might have seen that already here, right? And then moved up in an E and we could come down. So that's possible, right? But we'll see, that could extend out further. I think we haven't reached it per perfectly yet. So my view would be we probably come down once more to that 1986. We don't have to, right? But that would be ideal, you know, looking for ideal patterns here. And then from here, we're looking for a wave E to the upside and then to break down, yeah, in a wave five. So that's sort of what I'm looking for here at the moment on this chart. Um, it, on the other hand, if we now break above the wave C, which is 19,200, then it's the first indication we are already coming up and then a wave A break to the upside would completely invalidate the triangle. That is at 19,232. Important to mention that just because we are breaking to the upside, if we do, I mean, we're now in a range, right? It's generally would expect continuation to the downside, which is generally what you would expect after a strong downtrend. You know, we came down quite strongly here. We're consolidating. It's just bearish consolidation, basically. You would expect to come down. Of course, you never know, but that is what you would primarily expect. And then target for the way five down, there's a few ways how to calculate that. One way is to take the length of the wave one to add it to the high of the wave four. Now we don't know exactly where wave five or uh, four will end, but roughly let's say uh, here, yeah, at that wave C high, probably it will end a bit lower, but um, key target, first target would then be the one to one ratio at 18,756. Second target would be 18,487. Um, and then we just need to see if this, I mean, this also would not give us a new low, but it might be the first wave of the fifth wave, right? So it would be one, two, three, four, five coming down, right? So that's sort of how I see Bitcoin at the moment. Nothing too exciting sideways movement on the su uh, Saturday. Um, tomorrow live stream for all channel members. Yeah, remember that um, as always on Sunday, five, uh, five o'clock UTC in the evening. And um, yeah. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.